assign similarities, a similarity measure that is widely used in the field of machine learning, from natural language processing where it's used to compare text, all the way to image processing when comparing images or human faces. Cosine similarity is defined as the cosine of the angle between the vectors. That means this measure is scaling variant, or in other words, unaffected by the length of vectors being compared. Now to compute it, we have to calculate the dot product of two vectors and divide it by the product of vectors magnitudes. Let's take two vectors, A and B. The dot product is simply a summed element-wise multiplication of vectors coordinates. Next, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate the magnitudes of those vectors. Let's plug our dot product and magnitudes into a formula, and what we get is a cosine similarity. This similarity measure is in a range from negative 1 to positive 1, meaning that objects we compare are identical if the value is 1, perfectly dissimilar if the value is negative 1, and if the value is 0, the vectors are orthogonal or independent. Let's take a look at a very simple example. We have three text strings, a white dog, a blue cat, and a white cat. And we want to calculate the cosine similarity between the first text string and the other two. We need a way to vectorize these strings, and one of the simplest ways is to use the bag of words method. At first, we clean our data by removing any punctuation and stop words. Next, we create a vocabulary of all unique words in our dataset, and every word will represent a dimension. Each dimension will correspond to the frequency of that word in the text string. Now it's time to calculate the cosine similarity, so we simply plug these vectors into a formula. Our similarity scores show that the third text string is the most similar to the first one. Of course, this is a very primitive example, and there are many ways to vectorize text or images. One way would be to use a neural network, but this is a topic for the next time. If you find this video useful, hit a like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you in the next one.